So I'm here with uh, Professor Nera Simon, who um, was one of the early um, heads of the section at ICDP, and we thought we had a short chat. Um, and maybe you could start by telling us a bit how, how you got interested in mathematics, how was your, your career early on, and, and so on, and how, how you arrived at this point. Okay, I got interested in mathematics already when I was, I think, 13, 14, uh -huh. already in school. And uh, <coughs> I was studying in a school which is about seven or eight kilometers from my place. And there was a small library in that uh, small town. Which did, was you, a, did you walk to...? I know, we went by Bullock Cot. With what? Bullock Cot. Wh what know? is that? No. There's one Bullock, uh -huh. draws a cart. Like it's almost like a horse. It's I a see. horse or a Bullock. And so you were a bunch of your kids yes, that went four to... Four kids and we had to manage everything ourselves. Oh, really? <laughs> and right. ourselves and so on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so I was from a small village, from a family of agricultural people. So in that, there is a small library. While, for some reason, there are some advanced textbooks. I don't know why. They're just a say, small town, usually, literary books. So I read them and I sort of got interested and then I said I will do research without of course having any idea what it is. But so really quite a, quite a statement for a 13 year old. <laughs> 14, 15, <laughs> 14. I don't know anyway, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. So, well and my family, I mean they always uh, encouraged me. So I was uh, sort of spoiling the walls by drawing pictures and so on. And pictures many diagrams. And they brought me a blackboard. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, and therefore, they all encouraged me. My father died when he was uh, 16, 15, something. But the uh, family encouraged me to go. I think my first break was I studied in a place called Laila College in uh, Chennai. And this is a college run by Jesuits. This is a uh, high school level? No, 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 no this after is, uh, sorry, college means uh, university. University, yes. Uh, undergraduate taught in colleges like the British system, taught mm -hmm. in university, it's mm -hmm. essential university. And then the real break was, there was a person who was teaching mathematics, he's a French Jesuit, and he was a student of Eli Carton, doctoral student of Eli Carton, in touch with people like Larry and some of our classmates, and apparently he even gave a lecture on sheaves when <laughs> in Chennai. And it's he who really introduced us to some kind of decent mathematics. And you know, you may be surprised, that's probably the first time so-called modern algebra was taught in India. So that was a situation, say, I'm talking about 50 years, say, 1950s. And so he always also insisted in teaching in a way, not only he and the whole curriculum, in such a way that concepts were emphasized, not only computations and so on. So it was a very sort of French style French teaching? French style already. French already. Style. <laughs> of course, he has to. I wonder how he managed to introduce this very rigid British system. Uh -huh. Anyway, and it's he who asked uh, me and also Sishant, he was my classmate all the time. I see. We were in the same class. So to <coughs> go to Tata Institute, maybe I should say a few words about this. Sure, yes. <coughs> so this was, uh, I'm, I'm now talking about, let's say, mm, around 52, 53, 54 was actually. And then this was a place uh, which was uh, started by Hobi Baba, who was a physicist. And uh, the important thing was, uh, it was uh, soon after independence, therefore uh, Nehru was giving a lot of support for these people, for science in particular to Baba. And there, the mathematics second, Baba was of course a theoretical physicist, but uh, because of that interest in some modern mathematics, so he wanted to start a mathematics section. And uh, he got, uh, uh, he talked to, I think, Hermann Weil and uh, Van Neumann, and, and they suggested one young man, K. Chandrasekhar, who was in the 30s, who suggested Weil at the time, to start mathematics. In, in, ta in, in ta Tata Institute. He was in his 30s. And, uh, but he had a very big contact with very French mathematicians as well as in. Uh, Americans. Americans, because he was uh, in Princeton for three years as a Marvel's assistant for two years or something like this, so always known him. Uh, and also there I think he understood by talking to Siegel and Marvel and others, how mathematics was organized in Germany before the war, and also the system in the US, and somehow I was interested, and tried to 
sort of uh, implemented. But in one of the main things it was, he, see, you know, it's uh, in the 1950s, and France was the sort of center of mathematics, everything, all the important ideas coming. And he invited mostly the French people to come and teach, not the British. Well, he was himself, in some sense, was brought in the British system. So, for example, at that time, Schwartz came uh, three times or something. They will come and stay for two months and give lectures. And the job of the student is to write down the notes. Write the notes of the course? Of the course. I and the, are these available, these notes? Yes, yes. Yeah, I can tell uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I wrote one complex manifold. Oh, you did? Course, uh -huh. as a student. And it was amazing, you know. I mean, you know, of course, Schwartz and so on from a distance. But then every day you write your notes. You go and show them, and then they tell you something. Say, ah, oh, that's nice, or something. Then you're pleased. And you can ask them questions. Once he said something, it can also be proved by Kunnat theorem, he said afterwards. I said, what is Kunnat theorem? What do you think to me? Normally, you wouldn't dare to go and ask him. And this were, these were classes were in English? Listen, uh, English. Yeah. The class was English. And then Schwartz went and persuaded, I think, talking to Kartan or others, I mean, uh, Engel Kartan, to send. Uh, yeah, every year two or three first eight people for the, I mean, Margaret, Kosovo, I mean, you can name. So they all came and gave system. And you will see more or less, after one or two years of the course, there will be some high level paper by the students. I mean, coming out. Out of the, the material of the course? The material of the course, out of the material of the course. There's some raw and as soon as work on complex analysis, immediately after Margaret's course, within one or two years. And Ramanan's work on. Different geometry, of course. So it's a very fertile ground. Well, very fertile grounds. And the point is, these people got involved directly with those the students. Uh, fantastic, great people, and then somehow absorbed. I mean, what was. Uh, so interesting uh, that somehow you mentioned France, US, Germany, and England uh, yeah. as part of a sort of a synthesis. Uh, yes, but England was not so much. It's uh, on the other hand, I must also say, though not directly, Germany, for example, Ziegel visited three times. I mean, never we were surprised. Why does he visit India three times? Mm -hmm. And every time he gave advanced courses. And there is some very important work also came out of his lectures by Ramachandra and others. So it was, uh, <coughs> so that was the well planned. And also, there was also, people were also, well, let's say, well recognized. I mean, if somebody does work, you don't wait 30 years for normal kind of promotion and so on and so forth. And, uh, that was very well done with encouragement and with some, <laughs> you know. So that is uh, how it was. So, and also the students were given complete freedom to do what they want. I mean, provided they knew the people were serious and doing some work. They never forced, because uh, uh, two of them were there. One was a number theorist uh, of Ziegel student. Uh, mm -hmm. The other one was, uh, well, uh, more on, uh, uh, analysis, and more, more or less the British type, and such like that. But they never insisted that we should do anything, I and mean, they completely Le left you uh, to free. Uh -huh. So, of course, Tata Institute became uh, a powerhouse in mathematics, as yes. there still is. So that's how, I mean, that kind of... Also, it was also lucky that very good students, were, good people were coming in a few years, and there was freedom to do, and also the main thing is the contact with with people. Mm -hmm. And so that you were also aware of what was going on, you know, I mean, it's, uh, and to some extent also, while we were in contact with the great people, we were also a little away, so that we can, and our work need not be too much in place. They, they were there for a few months and then they would leave. leave. <laughs> you have to, you have to otherwise, sometimes, otherwise they, you know, sometimes you may not be able to think on your own or whatever it is, so it was, it was really... A nice balance. Nice yeah. balance. Yeah. So that's how it was. And uh, so coming to a closer to ICDP, how, how was the, um, a bit of the early history of the section? Okay. In so I, I think maybe it was started here in 86 or something. 86, right? I believe. Something like that. So around that time, uh, see, I, there, already there are some uh, schools where run in mathematics. mathematics, I think. Uh, but just, you know, as for radical yeah. Then I think around that time, he asked me whether I could come here. I had come for one of the schools. Uh, at that time, <coughs> I couldn't come because I didn't have any things. And they said, no, sorry. And he said, can you come for six months or year? I said, perhaps I could, but if you want to start something, this can't. 
people are coming, I don't think my people are looking for full attention to this. So I think afterwards he, I think he asked Professor Yields to start this, but Yields was not here, I think. I mean, I think Vesovsky was sort of taking care of it. Yields was always in, in the UK. In the UK, I think. <coughs> so uh, then I also used to come and you know, part of the schools or something to give talks. I think maybe in 90 or 91, I came here to school and Salam invited me for his famous lunch. You know, he used to have lunch in the oh, yeah? cafeteria when everybody has to go home or even invite him to talk and so on. Uh -huh. So he invited me and then sat down. We two only two two so He said, uh, your children must be grown up now. <laughs> so, I mean, I must have said, you know, my children are now studying or something, and then he said, can you come? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I can this time. And then that's how. How so it started? I asked to the instructor, I, I can come. Uh, so that's his starting point. And already, I think, Salam himself was also deteriorating by the time of it. Himself? Yes. Himself was deteriorating. But I must say, he gave all the support. I, I also said, okay, I, I want complete freedom to run this thing. And the, some kind of support more than what he gave for the other sections, nothing more. And he said, I will, and he did. So uh, we just left it at that, we never uh, talked what position, nothing, I didn't even know what was what here. So after one month, I get a telegram in his own way. I'll be extremely honored, <laughs> not in a short way, and uh, saying if you can come here and take full charge of mathematics and so on. That's how it started first. So then, as I said, he was always as much as possible giving whatever support he can give. Supportive. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, there are, he had himself problems. I mean, he means not he and the center itself has often done some financial problems. but. Anyway, we, we were not particularly affected by that. I mean, not because we were mathematicians, we were not sort of uh, value well, reduced less than the other sort of thing. And uh, there was no absolutely very good relations with him as far as this concerned. Mm -hmm. And then, if you, okay, I will probably say one or two things which I thought I, I did, and which may be good. I think, I think, I would say one of the best sexes in this place was China. I think you should ask, for example, you can the or somebody. At a certain stage, now if at least half a dozen people who are sort of very eminent people and also powerful people in China, they're all postdocs here. They were all postdocs. Yeah. Postdocs, yeah. And also it was true immediately, I mean even now. See, apparently they gave every year some special awards, which is very substantial. And for four or five years, the people who were Postdocs here who went back got it. I see. <clears throat> and I think one of the reasons, uh, I mean, was, see, these people are very, of course, very intelligent and so on, very well trained also in one form, but it's not only for Chinese, for many people who come here at that time, now maybe it's different, but they did not know what to do with that knowledge. You know what I mean? You have to go to problems which are, which attract the attention of people or something like that. So a couple of things was then. One is uh, if we don't have here anybody who can uh, to send them for one or two months somewhere in Europe. Mm -hmm. For example, this Nija uh, Yu was here probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I first sent him to the host or somebody like that mm -hmm. <coughs> for two months or three months. Or if I can myself help them, I mean, I did this. That was, uh, I think. Of course, they also work very, work very hard, and once they are shown the way, immediately they got it and came to the, the other thing I would uh, say is one more thing, is some Africans, especially African French. Uh -huh. uh, when, you know what I mean, French speaking. French, uh, uh, yeah, French, 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 yeah. And what happened there was, many of them were, well, uh, took their, uh, okay, I don't know, doctor or whatever, in France, they were quite well trained and done some work, but they were sort of lost when they went. Once they went back to Africa. Back, they lost. But uh, what I did was once, uh, I had a small meeting here, which was also technical, 
well, he invited some of these people from uh, Africa, these people, plus the, their patron who were to the work in France. And had a meeting here. Of course, they also talked their mathematics. But the main thing was to have a program in which they can meet in Africa, also inviting people from. So the French people also, I think, gave some support to them. But uh, for five years it was working. I don't know what happened afterwards. That is every year from three or four countries they will meet. They will meet there. There, there. Mm -hmm. And the French people would go. We'll I go. think mm -hmm. the French also gave some support and uh, that was okay but then we don't know what happened and there's one more thing I want to say I don't know whether it will work or not the problem is about school sometimes people said okay the people come here I want school and they go away and then what happens <coughs> then uh, and also you know that in the many of the world countries the number of people who work on islands is very large yes uh, <coughs> So, and I persuaded some very good people, three people, they prepared, they were prepared to run three years successively, I mean one year after a school analysis, which will start at a particular level. At the end of the first uh, school, there will be a small exam. People who are reasonably good will be called for the next school after one year. Of course, others also can yeah. come. So at the end of three years, hopefully, uh, some new set of uh, of a dozen people, ten people will be formed. It was fairly successful, but probably not as much as one expected. But the amazing thing was the, these three top class analysts were prepared to commit themselves for three years to, to do these courses. Mm -hmm. These courses. Mm -hmm. These were here at the. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, you also know there are a number of. Uh, schools and colleges like Mandunai and so on, which are quite uh, right. really well known. <coughs> so, is there anything else? I want to see if I So, overall, you would, you would um, say the ICDP was a very influential um, institution in, in terms of what it did for, yes, for mathematics? Yes, I think mathematics, I think ICDP, as for mathematicians, I think it became visible, let's say, after this. Uh, at these activities. Well, I, I know uh, one case of a, a now is a Simon's associate, Alicia Dickenstein, that uh, yeah. told me that he she basically learned all the algebra geometry she knows at the ICTP in a very long school. Yeah. Um, so it certainly has uh, that, a big effect in a lot of people. Yeah, and in fact, in China, I met somebody, he said, Oh, only here I learned that for example, you know, I was supposed to be a doctor. So that guy, you know, he's very interesting. Uh, he wanted to come and talk to me. I said, he come to me after five o'clock in the evening. Okay, so I may have something to do. So he will come and he says, uh, in some well-known books, he says, there's a mistake. I said, oh, this fellow doesn't understand. I mean, he says, there's something that is. <laughs> he was right. He was right. <laughs> <laughs> so then I tell him. Very good. So, well, um, I don't know if you had something else to add. But, uh, I'll see if I have something else to add. I don't know. Just, uh, okay. And also, schools, yes. Uh, I mean, Borel was here for a month, Alban Borel. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was he really got involved in this. He said, you know, people are doing very important thing. But he also said, you know, certain things you have to do it, you know. Just we done better or something, which, I, which means he was really involved. He was not criticizing. He said it was very good, but mm -hmm. for example, one thing he said was you should have more seminars or something like that. Uh -huh. But he was here one month completely. Of course, he's very professional. He gave his course and right. interact with people. And, uh, yeah, that must be quite a thrill to have this level of mathematicians here. Yeah, right? yeah, and they're prepared to spend one month and sort of get themselves in some form or other involved. Right. That was uh, yeah. very nice. And also the other one, completely different one. Uh, it's trying to get funds from these countries. I mean, from the developing countries and so on. I, I did succeed in getting funds from India and China, I'll say, uh -huh. to sort it. But also I'll tell you what happened after. Well, at the, at the moment, uh, mm -hmm. as you know, uh, we we gave funds for the Ramanujan Prize from, yeah. from India, right? Yes. 
Uh, but no, that's not. I'm for people who come to yes, Indians who come here. The understanding was uh, the India will uh, whatever other country will pay the travel and we will take care of the accommodation. accommodation. And, and in fact, uh, the person in charge, the DST secretary at the time, came here and signed. In fact, there's maybe a photograph somewhere. And he said, "Okay, this is now ten, but we can give you more or something." Which he meant. The trouble is these people go on changing, you know, they see... Right, they, they, these are political appointments uh, No, no, he was a scientist, sort of, mm -hmm. but if he goes somewhere, everybody else comes, I don't know, anyway. So, but it was working for a few years, but afterwards, I think, he had very time to get the money, the, you know, you know what's going on. And China also, the same thing happened. In Argentina, we found there was uh, some agreement, but it was not working. No matter what means, we didn't find any. Then we tried to contact. There was no record there. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm surprised. So, I mean, see, I, I thought these countries should at least support a few. And actually, when I had with the National Board for Health Mathematics, there's something on in India, which I, in fact, I started. When I had. Uh, Contact with them, it was done. But afterwards, again, something has happened. So, there I have not found a solution. Maybe I don't know what to. Well, we tried. Um, we have we have a few agreements with, with Chile, for example, some new ones, but uh, at the moment are sort of small in scope. I mean, it would be certainly interesting to have more, more contacts of this sort, more agreements. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. So anyway, I think, as far as I was personally concerned, I thought it was one of the sort of fruitful periods of my Of your own career. That's very nice to hear. Well, we're certainly uh, very happy of your contribution. I'm sure a lot of people are as well. So uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. And also, you see, it's been still talking you. We must have seen this, uh, uh, what's called, it's called uh, Fundamental Geometry Explained or something. Mm -hmm. It's a school, a few years ago. It's apparently a bestseller now. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Very good. See, this uh, probably, you know, the, I mean, Gothendieck's uh, Fond Bond the Geometry Algebraic, which was uh, this Bulbaki talks. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how I learned my algebraic geometry, because otherwise, if you read all these other books, it's not possible. It's a summary of many of his ideas. Mm -hmm. Then, after 25 years or 30 years, we thought we should sort of Re see what's the uh, issue uh, because things have happened and also what it is. And also it was all French, many people <laughs> And uh, you see that some of the top people who were involved in that later, uh, like Kleiman, you see, and others, like that to the talk. And that's, that's all what all the young people now start by. <laughs> that's very good. Very good. So thank you. Okay, very much thank you very much. Time.